We watched the divisional rounds. Um, yeah, boy, you got to deal with Joe Burrow for a while, huh? Um, how far away um, do you think the Browns are from those teams? Not as far as it feels. You know, I, I definitely think it feels like it's a million miles off. But, you know, two years ago they were in the same position they would have been playing this weekend. You know, they have to sharpen some things up. They're going to need to make some personnel changes. But they're right there. And it all hinges on Watson. If he's able to get back to that form that he had in 2020, they're right there with all these teams. You know, it just it's all about coming together. All right, so ESPN polled NFL executives for predictions for um, next season. Um, and they have the Lions and the Browns breaking through, um, meaning challenging slash possibly winning uh, their respective divisions. An NFL scout, Deshaun Watson, was average this year but should be better with a full off season. He's going to have to be. And I think you touched on it when we were talking just before. The success of next year will in large part be how quickly the defense adjusts to what Jim Schwartz needs and how high um, Deshaun Watson can lift the offense. Do you agree with that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's, that's, that's what the season's going to come down to. And with Watson, you know, water finds its level. I have no doubt that he will get back to that a full off season, getting just getting the comfortability in this system, I think, is going to be key. But I will caution people. Watson has never had a good opening game. Look at all of his opening games throughout his career. So if he has a rocky one week one, it's going to get awfully loud. But, you know, I think he'll rebound. I think you're looking at a, a season where I expect 3,800 yards and probably right around 30 touchdowns, which would be a high watermark, you know, for as a franchise, you know. They haven't seen these kind of numbers since Sipe, so – It'll be a breath of fresh air if he's able to attain that. Yeah, and, and again, um, you would assume the offense will look significantly different and they'll probably get a few more weapons around him. Yeah, they have to. They, they absolutely have to. They need to get a speed element on the outside and, and at, at slot, in my opinion. I think they need a, a faster slot receiver to get those easy, cheap yards. You're watching these playoff games and you're seeing offenses just manufacture real quick, easy yards. And the Browns really don't have that kind of player. I think they need to figure that out in the offseason, and as well as someone who can stretch the stretch the defense. And right now, they don't have that option currently in house. So there's going to need to be some changes made. Yeah, I would say watch how the Chiefs are going to use Kadarius Tony with Patrick Mahomes being limited mobility, and that's the type of receiver I hope the Browns go out and get somebody that can threaten, not only go deep, but can threaten you in space as well.